New, new towing service out of spec. This is just, there she slides. Hello and welcome to another out of spec reviews video. It is one o'clock in the morning. It is 18 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, really coming up on minus 30 degrees Celsius, properly cold. Did the lights just turn off on us? Yep. <laughs> the camera's out. Everyone's uh, shutting the lights off around here. Um, and I got two Nissan Leafs behind me that I've totally cold soaked. You know, we do a lot of things with expensive cars on this channel. We did a Tesla, you know, plugging into a supercharger with a frozen battery pack. We've been doing a whole bunch of other experiments in the cold. And well, I wanted to um, bring it down to earth a little bit. You guys know I own at least it was at the time, it might be now the cheapest electric car for sale in the country. I bought a Nissan Leaf that is pretty much fully functional uh, for 3,700 bucks. And uh, it's this uh, one covered in snow right over here. Also, Nissan has sent us a brand new Leaf. I asked for one to do a little comparison with, so you'll see other videos on this. And this is the new Leaf uh, 62 kilowatt hour, 64 kilowatt hour. Uh, this one's the SV Plus, it's the mid-spec. We've reviewed uh, this, this car many times, but now that I have the old Leaf, I was like, oh, let's do some comparisons. And well, I think it's kind of cool. We have the smallest and the biggest Nissan Leaf battery pack ever offered the 24 kilowatt hour and again that 60 plus kilowatt hour pack i've cold soaked them both they're both sitting at the exact same state of charge or at least i left them with the exact same state of charge let's see if they even charge if the battery heater is enough to even get them going will they even start i have no idea i have no experience with leaf in the cold um let's start with the old school one and then see the improvements into the new one basically the cars are just ice bricks and we're gonna plug them in and see what happens the premise behind this we just did this with the tesla model 3 performance and hopefully you guys enjoyed that thought it was kind of interesting it took 45 minutes on that car before it even started charging now i want to know what the leaf logic is like really cold i can't even feel my face right now so let's do this quicker rather than slower see uh what keys i have i have audi keys we are, we're doing <laughs> so many experiments tonight this is my leaf there it is you can see it lighting up under there okay i'm gonna pull it around <laughs> that car won't start oh no look at this it wants to it's trying she's too chilly I think what's probably happening is the 12 volt battery. It's too cold. Uh, I think we might need to jump the 12 volt. Let me turn off the lights in here. Headlights off. Yeah, everything's blinking. I got the transmission light on. It doesn't know what to do. Come on in, take a look at this. Key is not detected. I got the key right here. Oh no, the poor old leaf won't start. I think we broke it. Oh no. Turn off the light, the lights are off. I'm hitting the start button. This is not, uh, this is not starting without probably a 12 volt uh, jump box of some kind. So I guess as a point of comparison, see if the new one starts, shall we? And then I think we'll run and grab the uh, 12 volt jump box, hook it up, and that should be enough to get it to kick the high voltage systems on. It also has a solar panel because this is the SL version. This is the top spec Nissan Leaf, by the way. <laughs> Especially <laughs> um, with that. It's not going to help us much right now, but right here is a solar panel, and this is supposed to charge the 12 volt battery up. All right, let's see what happens with the new one, shall we? Join me over here. New one seems to have better electrical supply. <laughs> yeah, it's lit up like a Christmas tree in here. And it's fired right up. I just heard the contactor go. Speedometer went 43% state of charge. That's really weird. I think I only charged it to 39%. So it magically gained energy don't know how that works um 
<laughs> let's just see what happens when we plug this one in. We'll do that one later. I don't know. Should be kind of interesting. in there but no warnings i just like put it in went full throttle to see if it would break didn't care um that's just the leaf thing isn't it they're really hardy vehicles you see these things up in the arctic circle in the the uh scandinavian countries and you're like what is a leaf doing on studded tires up here and then you're like oh it's actually built pretty well for this stuff um leaves hate the cold there's no active cooling um I, I, yeah but but in the cold what am i trying to say they hate the heat yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's no active cooling they love the cold it's one in the morning we're freezing let's try this out chatamo cable oh, you're <laughs> i don't actually know which way is going to be easier oh, i got a two hand this sucker oh my god it's so cold I think I'm going to get frostbite just by touching it. <laughs> do you want me to do it? Got a little lift up for it. There you go. My hands are burning. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think we're in. Okay. Activate it. My pinky is literally frozen. Up. Okay, let's uh, let's go to the truck and activate yeah. it. <laughs> Needed steering wheel. Nice. Okay, charger number one. Swipe to charge. Let's just drive up there. It'll be nicer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. We're not actually blocking any stations because none of these work. None. Oh, charging start error. Of Here, course. Why don't you use my gloves? No, that's okay. I just when you touch that thing, that thing was so cold. You I know bet. when you like burn your hands? Yeah, that's cold. Yeah, frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> was, that was really wild. Um, let Let me just go see what the uh, charging error is on this. We might have like a failed video here. <laughs> I don't even know what I was attempting to show everyone. I really wanted to see. Okay, the old leaf took an hour to start charging. The new leaf took. 20 minutes to start charging that was my idea but this thing doesn't even want to charge that one doesn't stop it just says charger error okay well that's not a surprise is it um let me try reconnecting see if we can get the old ice cube juicing up if not it'll be warmer tomorrow and we can try it then here <laughs> i'm gonna redo this process I just gave Kyle my gloves. <laughs> Hopefully that helps a bit. But it seems that this cable is just so frozen right now. Everything is just so, so cold. Hopefully that worked. Well, I'll tell you one thing, the Chatamo plug, thanks for the gloves, by the way. I'll tell you one thing, the Chatamo plug, uh, you gotta turn the music off, uh, does not like the cold. It's totally, uh, they, they seem to like shrink at different rates. Come on, baby. It's got a little red light on there. There we go, initiating charging. Yeah, I know, it's got the light. And what does that say? Uh, well, I think it's actually trying to charge. Yeah, it says, welcome, Kyle. We can monitor the session here. It says it's at 1%, that's not accurate. 
Okay, 15 seconds ago. How fast will it charge? I mean, it's really cold out there, obviously. Um, if I was the Leaf, I wouldn't accept any power at all. I think we need to run over the charger to get accurate uh, accurate data. Let's let's hop out. Let's go check on this thing. Yeah, four kilowatts. That's right. really pretty good. I still can't believe that I uh, parked it at thirty nine percent, which is what that one was at. Yeah. Because um, I used Leaf Spy on that. I think that's I may have left the OBD plug in it, and that's why it's kind of dying. Poor thing. Uh -huh. uh, but four kilowatts. Holy smokes! Look at this. Two hundred and fifty five minutes left until eighty five percent. You know that's not terrible. <laughs> that's crazy. So. Um, it's charging. Yeah, totally, totally charging. That's that's a shock. Now I wonder if the four kilowatts just the battery heater. Right. Let's actually jump in the leaf and see what it says on the screens here. I'm curious. I don't remember what these really tell you when they're charging. Let's see. We are in the leaf right now. It says charge plug is connected. Okay. Let's kick on the uh, accessory modes. There we go. We're on. Charge plug is connected. Okay, we're still pulling four kilowatts. 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour. That's what I got driving over here because it was so cold. Let's go over here to the charge menu. Battery pack in the cold. Battery capacity full. Mine is not full. And 3.4 kilowatts. 3.3 kilowatts. Interesting. Let's see what happens if we go full heat. Full fan. Oh boy, it's gonna be a real cold. It's actually going down. Very interesting. See that? Mm -hmm. So probably what that is showing is what's going in the battery. So if I turn this off, that should go up. 2.6, 7, 8, 9, 3. So this is what's actually going into the battery pack. It's allowing it to charge. The leaf says minus five degrees. It's definitely colder than that. Yeah. Um wow, I'm surprised it's even charging. Um that's a, that's a surprise. So it, it just in full comparison, we took our Tesla Model 3 performance just earlier this evening. It was minus 12 when we did that test. Mm -hmm. That car sat, we dropped all the cars off in the same time, roughly for two days and, and turned into an ice brick. And um, that car took 45 minutes before it accepted any power into the battery pack. It ran a seven kilowatt heater for 45 minutes before it was like, yes, give me even the slightest drop of juice. And this thing is just like, yeah, three kilowatts into the battery. Crazy. Um, wow. A heated steering wheel, heated seats. I am I'm wonder what this would do to battery capacity. I don't know, but that's a really interesting situation that it's even allowing it to charge. The charger claims it's outputting three kilowatts. We're getting 3.7 into the battery pack. I assume maybe Leaf owners would know different, but uh, wow, I'd be really curious to see what mine gets. Uh, yeah, we gotta get the 12 volt jump box for it. 3.8 kilowatts now. Nice. Well, the old leaf. I can actually go over here as well. Take a look at this. To energy usage. Uh, it doesn't really tell us much, does it? This is just electric motor, other systems. Predicting 83 miles of range at 43%. That's pretty good. Better than your e-tron. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> EV info. Driving range, nearby set, EV settings, battery and power alerts. Nothing. 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 Yeah. Interesting. So it's it's charging. So what do you say we run, get the 12 volt jump box, see if we can get ours going mm -hmm. while we let this charge and warm up and we'll come back and see if it's juiced up anymore. Okay. Yep. And we're at a gas station right down the road to see if there's a jumper thingy. See if we can get the leaf started. Um, hopefully so, so we can complete this. No such luck again. We may have to run home. Do we know where it is at home? No idea. Oh goody. We are back with the old leaf. I don't know if you can hear that. It's trying to do something. It's trying to wake up and become alive. Shows no indication inside the vehicle, of course. Okay, let's see if we can find a jump box. I think I actually have one in here, believe it or not, from a last prior incident. Gotta look for it. We are now 21 minutes into this charging session and we have 
approached five kilowatts being delivered. Honestly, so far beating the Tesla Model 3 with cold weather performance at the risk of battery degradation? I don't know. You guys tell me. Is the chemistry in this car better? You guys are better. Some of you are much better chemistry experts than I am. I want to learn more. And that's partially why I'm doing these cold weather tests so I can learn more. But um, yeah, we've delivered 1.7 kilowatt hours. I don't know how much that's gone to battery heating. No noise is really happening here. But uh, yeah, we'll let this thing go. We gotta find a way to get the old leaf jumped and going. Well, a little update on our plan. I think what we're gonna do is give each car a one hour charging session to see how many kilowatt hours it can accept in that one hour. Uh, now we have so many different experiments to do and this is probably the least interesting one. I think it's cool because we're not doing expensive car stuff. This is, I love fun, cheap cars. Not to say that the new Leaf is cheap. That's quite an expensive car, especially in the context of Bolt and others. Things $38,000 as tested. But my Leaf's only three grand. Uh, and I'd rather have 10 of my Leafs than one of these. It, but that'll be a video for another day. Um, so yeah, this is gaining a uh, percentage for sure. This is a 53% state of charge so far. We're 51 minutes into it. It's uh, only getting a peak of five kilowatts. But um, I think what we'll do as soon as it's done charging, we'll bring it over, plug my leaf in with the uh, 12 volt jump situation. And j it just needs just a bit to get the high voltage contactor to go. Once it does, the DC to DC booster will start charging the high voltage battery and uh, it should charge no problem. I don't know if it'll accept any charge. Um, and that'll be that, that'll be kind of interesting. We'll give that an hour to uh, do what it does. Now, I'd also really be curious to see if we drive them around a little bit, warm them up, if we yo-yo the hell out of them, drive the piss out of them, how much faster they'll charge after that. But I don't think we have time to do that tonight. If you're curious, I can always do those experiments with my leaf, it just won't be in the crazy cold temperatures we can still do that even when it's you know below freezing easily any night we are now 60 minutes in we're sort of making up the rules as we go and five kilowatt hours 5.2350 have been delivered and of course it's pulling five kilowatts so that adds up and makes sense we've gone from 43 to 55 percent state of charge with only five kilowatt hours hmm that doesn't make so much sense the leaf I think send some weird state of charge reporting signals in uh, cold temperatures or really just all the time related to charging. So anyway, that's what uh, my old leaf, let's see how close it can get. I, I would be surprised if we even get one kilowatt hour in an hour. That would be a win, I would say. So let's pull this around. Let's jump start the old girl. <laughs> that thing was making some bad noises. Good thing we're never selling it because I would never want to sell it to anyone after all the noises I just heard coming out of it. It feels so bad. <laughs> it's a poor car. It's like a sad puppy. Hopefully it starts up. And um, yeah, let's stop charging on this. It would take hours for this car to charge. I mean, on a, it would just, this is, what if you were a Leaf owner and this is genuinely the only fast charger working. All the new ones don't work. We made a video about that a few days ago. Uh, what if you just like arrived here at 0% and then wanted to go full and it took 10 hours? There's no nothing stopping you from doing that. No. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I also tried the Rivian again on the new chargers. No work. Still days later, the same issue. Ah. So it must not be software. It must be a hardware problem. Okay, so. We're going to have to pop the hood. Colton, if you were watching that. You're welcome. Sorry. <laughs> it might induce some swirls. All right, let me pull it around to the uh, to the race car. All right, getting this all symmetrated. Yeah. I decided since we're done with this car for the test, just to keep the heat blasting. Let's see, that's our culprit right there, the 12 volt system. Man, it's amazing how they use the exact same hood rod so many things are the same. So we go black to red and red to black, right? Right. Yep. I actually think one of my clamps was on a plastic surround. So now I got it all metal to metal. Oh yeah, look at this thing, lighten up. Here she it goes. It says shift to prange. Huh? I don't, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> 
brake and start button when parked. Apply parking brake. Key is dead. Is it on? No. It doesn't, it's not in a gear. It's got like a full transmission fault. Mm. Here, let's try shutting it off. <laughs> yeah, see, we have the actual like gearbox error. Yeah. When parked, apply parking brake. Parking brakes applied. I key system fault. Oh yeah, all the good clicks. It's good. The happy wow, the gauges chose. are going so low. Also, take a look at this. I think it really lost quite a bit of charge. It says five miles left. I parked it at 38% state of charge. No temperature on the battery pack if you take a look there. Holy smokes. All right, let's disconnect them. The, the 12 volt booster should be engaged now, so it should have enough juice to run on its own. Wow, this poor car. <laughs> And that's why we got it. We're doing experiments. And I think eventually we're going to end up putting the big 62 kilowatt hour battery pack in it. Yeah. All right, let's disconnect the... Uh... Cables. Yep. Yeah. Wow, that really worked out great. Good job, New Leaf, helping out your grandfather. <laughs> the front ends look totally different. Nice. Well, I'm going to keep these in the Rivian. And the Rivian or in the leaf? <laughs> well, maybe we should keep them in the leaf for I now, actually. I was thinking the leaf. Yeah, I'm going to keep them in the leaf. All righty, there she goes. <laughs> the leash is going reverse. It's actually stuck in a lot of snow. So that's going to be another problem. Oh, easy. Never underestimate the leaf. It kind of does look like a cockroach. Oh, look at that wheel spin. <laughs> It's definitely, it's just the cockroach era of cars. They'll never die. It's all initiated for you. Hey, thanks so much, appreciate that. Yeah. Let's uh, get it plugged in. So it was in turtle mode. It shows oh, four really? miles of range. <laughs> There's zero bars on the battery temperature. I just can't believe it lost that much. I wonder if it was just trying to keep the 12 volt alive or yeah. what happened there. But I know it needs a new 12 volt battery pack, but we're in. I think, yeah, initiating charging. Will it even charge? Will it blend? <laughs> wow, this poor, this poor thing. It's a good thing we're gonna be recycling this battery pack at some point. Uh-oh. Vehicle timeout. Unplug and reconnect. Okay. Well, somehow it released the connector, but I think we have to re-jumpstart the leaf because plugging it in uh, shut it off. So. I think actually what I'm going to do is just jump start it and put it back over here and then tomorrow it should be above freezing. It'll be like 40 degrees and that'll be a, a little bit better for it. I know the battery can charge then on Chatamo, so I'm just going to pull it back over here and uh, no charging test for this one. But I hope this has been a little bit interesting um, for you. Those two bars that we had in the battery, the four miles projected, it's got nothing now. It won't even go into gear. So we're gonna put it in neutral and we're just gonna roll it back over here. Okay. And we'll deal with it when it's warmer. Yeah. <laughs> this poor battery is gonna sit dead and deep frozen. Does this mean I gotta push? This means we're gonna have to push it uphill tomorrow. Not much, but we'll just back it over here for now. It shouldn't be a big deal. Okay. And uh, yeah. all right, so this has gone to dire situation. The leaf's dead. There's nothing we can do to get it going. It won't charge because the battery's a brick. We can't turn it on because- It's dead. Like we can turn it on, put it in neutral, but then we're 12 volt connected to the other leaf and we can't roll it back. So we're, re we're resorting to brute force. So I got the recovery strap out. I've hooked it up to one of the Rivian's recovery points. It's a little janky, but we're going four feet. So don't, don't worry too much. <laughs> this is out of spec style here. We're not professionals. <laughs> and we're gonna do uh, the thing that I hate to do the most, which is I'm just gonna yank the thing back, which makes, makes my heart hurt a little bit for the parking paw the transmission i wish there was a way we could get it into neutral but unfortunately when we're in uh neutral we disconnected the uh other leaf the high voltage battery won't kick on the whole thing shut off and it went to park so we're just gonna have to yank it on the little trailer hitch back here it's which, pretty icy yeah thankfully it's pretty icy so it shouldn't put too much stress on anything but um might have some flat spots on every tire no i don't think that at all <laughs> i think if anything we're going to rip the trailer hitch out of the car that's fine too yeah well until it comes flying through our windshield 
Okay. <laughs> so let's see how this works. Alyssa, I just want you to keep Tension. this on. I'm going to back the Rivian up really slowly. Okay. And then you just go really far away. Okay. All right. So hold on to this. One. Just, and she slides. <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome to the day in a life. That's good. That worked out pretty good. That worked out great. <laughs> nice. Hey, well, <laughs> that's what we should do. If you, have, if you ever have a leaf blocking your charging station for an hour, there charging, you go. <laughs> just hook it right out to the Rivian. <laughs> that's why we should open the video and be like, this damn car was blocking the charger. Um, yeah, new, new towing service out of spec. Oh, gosh. Guys, I'm driving the Leaf and I don't think I'm gonna bring it back to the charging station, mostly because there's a hill over here and I don't think I'd be able to get up the hill. Um, the tire on this is just really not so good. So here, I'll demonstrate a full braking situation. Alyssa's already gone. I've had to go so slow, but then carry momentum for hills. I mean, I don't mind driving in slippery conditions when no one else is around, right? No problem, but I wouldn't wanna drive this with other cars around me and, um, yeah, I think we just call it a video. Sort of a failed leaf experiment today. Look, I'm coming over the, this crest at, at 30 miles an hour, just as a reference. And I'm going to hit the brakes on the downhill here in just a moment when it kind of levels out so I don't go off the edge. But look, 30 miles an hour, here we go, full brakes. That's full brakes. You can see speedometers all over the place. I think we're accelerating. I'm as hard as I can stand on the brake pedal. I'm in the deep snow over here. If I go over here to the ice, pretty much no brakes, still full brakes. No one's behind us, of course. Still full brakes, haven't stopped yet. And I think, I don't think we'd make it up this hill. I also think it's probably a bit dangerous to drive with this tire on this surface. I mean, this is sheet ice. And so that's why Alyssa is able to just drive like a freaking maniac because she has studded Nokian winter tires. But look, I'm just, I don't know, are we gonna make the turn? Yes, because we have deep snow in the middle, thankfully. Uh, but let's get all of our speed off first, off the brakes, and very gently come down this road. I think I'm going to leave the leaf over here for safety. And you can see any bit of acceleration just triggers traction control. By the way, I do think it's worth a comment. I have not noticed any increase in regen, but just now the battery temperature went up one bar. So it definitely is warming it up, even though I'm not able to get much power output out of it and definitely not much regen. Uh, it definitely seems to be running some sort of heater. You can see minus 16 degrees Fahrenheit indicated, minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit indicated. Just crazy cold. So uh, I say we leave the leaf here and uh, we'll pick it up on a warmer day. And you know what? Sometimes not all things go to plan, but we have four other videos to shoot tonight. It's already 2.35 and as long as those go to plan, then cool with me. So. Thanks for watching another Out of Spec Reviews video. We'll see you on another one soon. Oh man, keep an eye on my personal channel to see how we rescue our leaf, if you're curious.